so one of the most boring things you're actually going to encounter is probably the relevant decision making chapter just because of the countless income statements and the difference between absorption and contribution form but hopefully my illustrative drawings get you through this boring chapter and they keep you entertained so we have this example and this guy's name is Tom he has a very nice fancy hat which um, I've illustrated right there, and he's sliding over this huge, um, this huge nest of money for one million units of whatever we're manufacturing. And I haven't really come up with a product which we're manner, which we're actually manufacturing. So I'll leave that to your imagination. Whatever he's buying, obviously we're selling. And the question has to do, oh took away the title. The question has to do with should we accept or reject a sales order of $30 an item for the 1 million units that Tom wants. So $30 an item and 1 million dollar unit or 1 million units. Should we do this? The answer lies within uh, the contribution margin uh, and this is especially important that we use the contribution approach so let's look at both income statements. Oh, why do I keep unclicking the title? Okay, so the first income statement is right there, and this is the absorption uh, income statement. So remember that this has to do with the fixed costs being grouped up in the manufacturing costs. So sales we have right here, 50 million. I'm just leaving some comments here. We have 1 million. Uh, sales uh, from these 50 million units which means ordinarily we are selling for $50 a unit. Uh, direct materials are 15 million which means um, just simple division $15 per unit. Direct labor is $5 per unit. Overhead is um, $15 per unit and the overhead, of course, this encapsulates a both variable overhead and fixed overhead. So don't let that fool you. Uh, gross margin right here is $15 million. So looking at this, this income statement right here, should we accept or reject the sales order of $30 an item? Well, if we were selling it for $30 an item, we would get $30 of sales per item, our direct materials would be 15 per item, our direct labor cost would be 5, and our overhead would be 15 per item, which would essentially be 15, 15, 5, $35 of cost, $30 of revenue. This would lead to a decision of rejecting. But is this right? No, it is not right. And this is why, because the contribution margin approach actually only includes the variable, the variable costs. So let me create another comment layer. So again, we have sales, uh, $50 million, which means we have $50 a unit. Our manufacturing costs are $15 million or $15 a unit. Our direct labor is $5 a unit. Our variable overhead is five dollars a unit and note that the five million is essentially five million of the fifteen million of this fixed and variable overhead and we'll see here that the fixed part is over below the contribution margin since fixed is never part of the contribution margin contribution margin is always sales minus all of the variable costs note that Alright, so looking at this, we can tell easily that the cost is 15 plus 5 plus 5 is $25 a unit. And therefore, since we have $30 an item of revenue coming in, we should... Let me get rid of the other income statement. Where is it? There we go. We should accept the order. And that is because these fixed costs are not going to change. The selling expenses are fixed based on the salaries we pay to our salespeople. 
So regardless, that is not going to change because they're going to be hired in um, the situation where we accept the sales order or whether we don't. And our fixed manufacturing costs, like the rent and our um, um, manufacturing plant, they're still going to be there as well. So in essence, we look at the variable cost when making a relevant relevant decision. I think relevant is spelled with an A, I'm pretty sure. Alright, so that was a quick uh, summarization of the accept or reject sales order decision. We'll do a harder example um, in a few days. I just wanted to go through all of the relevant decisions in a very simple way. Alright, make sure to subscribe guys. Any questions, leave them below and I'll see you in the next one.